Hey everybody, it's Delta Shiny Zeta here, bringing you another horse game. Yes, that's right. So, as you may already know, I have already finished the Unicorn Princess as well as Horse Club Adventures, two games in the horse genre of games for a Nintendo Switch. And I did get a couple comments, you know, because I actually opened it up for everyone to be like, hey, if you want to, you know, watch me play other horse games, leave some rec recommendations. And there were a couple recommendations, so I was like, you know what, let's do this. This one here is called BB and Tina at the Horse Farm. Also available for Nintendo Switch, of course, so let's begin this one. Oh great, what am I getting myself into, right? Alright, you can play photo album or settings. I'm gonna go into photo album, and it's uh, basically a bunch of question marks, got it. Those are supposed to be loading screens, by the way, but the loading is so fast that you can never actually read this loading screen. <laughs> I mean, all of you can if you pause the video. But, okay, that's already one thing that's going to be like, what the heck kind of a developmental decision is that? Anyway, uh, sound, music and effects, it should be fine, I think it's all fine, delete data, credits, yeah, whatever, let's just begin. Here we go, play. Oh, look how fast these loading screens are, wow, okay. Best time challenge, writing out, or missions. We're obviously going to do missions, uh, that's the quote-unquote main story of the game, if you even want to call it that. We can play as BB or... Tina, um, I'm gonna do BB, sure. The orientation arrow always points the way to your next destination and a writing task. Now, this time it was appropriate to put a message in the loading screen because the loading screen was actually long this time, but not the other time. All right, let's see just what we are getting ourselves into. Once again, this is blind. Um, I don't know anything about this game other than it's, you know, it's a horse game, there's horse missions on here. And yeah, we'll see. So from the two I've played so far on the channel, which have been the Unicorn Princess and Horse Club Adventures, it's obvious that Horse Club Adventures is a much superior game than the other one. But let's see this one. What a lovely day for a trip, but you should first learn how to lead a horse. Ride from one checkpoint to the next. At each checkpoint, you'll be given important game information that you have to observe and carry out. Okay. Let's see here. Push the left stick forward and to the sides to move the horse forwards. Hold the left stick back to make the horse slow down and stop. That makes sense. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Okay, so you don't use the right stick at all. The orientation arrow always indicates where your next destination is right in the direction it is pointing. Okay, so we're going to go forward. So here's the thing. Riding faster. Press the A button to ride faster. Keep pressing the A button to pick up more speed. Riding faster, or sorry, riding fast reduces the horse endurance. If you use up all of its endurance, it will buck. The horse's endurance is displayed as a bar on the right side of the screen. If you are riding fast, change the rhythm to vary the speed so that the horse can build up endurance every now and then. Okay. So we're gonna... Oh my god, there's sirens in the background super loud <laughs> as they're driving by. If you're riding fast enough, you'll be able to jump over obstacles, gallop towards an obstacle to jump over it. There we go. I'm riding fast enough. You won! What? We did it! Oh my god. So, yeah, what's already different about the controls of this game is that um, if you if you try to move the right stick, it actually won't do anything to like move the camera. You can only move it with the left stick, which is incredibly weird if you've played other horse games. Um, but <laughs> wow! All right, so oh, look, here's Tina accompanying us. Okay, so we gotta go this way. What is this? We just got warped, apparently. Okay, now that you can ride, you can explore your surroundings. A Slalom? Through the forest is just the right thing. What the heck? Right against the clock. Right from one checkpoint to the next. Alright, here we go. All we're doing is left stick and A. We get 1 minute and 50 seconds. Okay. Wait, what? Did it just... Hold on, what the heck? 
Oh, my bad. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so dumb, okay? It's a specific order. It's a specific order, I think. Yes, that makes a lot more sense. I thought you could just, like, go into any of them and it would be fine. So you gotta follow the arrow. I guess we're gonna do this here. Just gotta keep following this arrow. Whoa, okay, there's one right here somewhere, somewhere. Okay, we made it. We might not do this anymore. Oh my god, we're having some problems here. We, uh, we got stuck. I don't know if I can do this anymore. I screwed up a lot. Nope, we still did it. You can now play the writing task in best time challenge mode. Uh, okay. Sure. Next writing task. Alright, what's number three? Here we go. Fast, fast, fast. I like how you have to like ride to like the metal thing and then it warps you again to another thing. Ride to the castle. How about riding to Falkenstein Castle? You might meet a, new, a few friends there. Ride against the clock. Ride from one checkpoint to the next. You don't have to ride through each checkpoint, but you'll get a time bonus for each one you do. Okay. Got it. Okay. So I think you just want to ride fast, honestly. Just start from fast and kind of like let it go a little bit to around the middle. But don't go all the way. Yeah, that's a pretty good speed right there. Uh... Oh, we did it. We actually got into it. I was like, what in the world? I mean, we're really good in time. I think he wants us to go over there. We can just go directly to the thing, but... I'm having more fun, you know, riding through these things, so... We're good, we're fine, we're fine. That's number three down, alright. So it looks like once you beat these things here in this uh, in this mode, you can go into challenge mode and do them there. Alright. Now well, we have to turn. I'm gonna go to this metal. Okay, this is such a weird game. I love playing weird games like this. Alex says that something has happened to Martin's farm, but that was all he knew. Quick, let's check it out. A horse race against the clock, ride the, ride the shortest path from the start point to the destination. Here we go. Oh man. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I mean, it says ride the shortest path. I'm just following the arrow. If the arrow's pointing that way, I mean, pop quiz, well, how, what's the fastest way to get from one point to another anywhere in life? The answer is a straight line. Obviously a lot of the time we don't do that, like if you want to go to the supermarket, obviously the fastest way, if possible, would have been to drive your car in a straight line directly from your house to the supermarket. However, that's not possible. Because you have to take streets and make right angle turns and all this stuff, you know? But that's mainly because of convenience for society, but it's not the fastest way to get, you know, in terms of uh, traveling. But yeah, so if you just follow the arrow, We'll, uh, we'll be in a good position here. Almost there. We have 30 seconds left. Will we do it? I see it. What the heck? I'm slowing down. Even though I was already up there in the speed. It's a little weird. I, I think I'm not supposed to pass that thing. That's why. That's what was happening. We did it. You can now play the writing task in best time challenge mode. Oh, yes. Because that's exactly what I wanted to do. Next writing task. Uh, okay, so just put us like this. Now we gotta turn around. Please move. Thank you. Thank you. We're gonna go in here. The orientation. Oh, I didn't read that. Mrs. Martin is beside herself because all the animals have broken out. But with your help, Bibi and Tina are bound to find them. Follow the clue first. Right against the clock. Okay, I'm always writing against the clock. All right. Well, here we go. It wants us to go.
This way. Somewhere. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, Jesus. Wait a minute, what is that thing right there that I just saw? What was that white path? Was I supposed to take this? I don't think so. No, because I would be wasting time if I do that. Whoa, the game just kind of like lag right there a little bit. Wait a minute. Oh, I just figured something out. I just figured something out. I don't think it ever gave that direction. That's what's weird. Because if I reread it, because by, with your help, even Tina can. Oh, it did. I'm, I'm such an idiot. Sorry. I actually am dumb because all I, all I said was right against the clock and I mashed it. Because I was like, well, it's the same thing as the other four missions we've done so far, but it's not. That was actually my bad for not reading it. It says, do not leave the route. Time passes quicker away from the route. My bad. <laughs> That's totally my bad. You see? This is what happens when you don't read. Because I, I did notice that mostly the second time I was doing it. The first time I was even looking at the timer until the last second because I was so confident I was going to do it. You know, but that's actually pretty funny. So we're supposed to stay in the pathway. Alright, so now I know. From this point on, read every single word of every single mission. Because you never know when there's something different. There we go. Much easier, you know, if you actually do what the game is telling you to do. Next writing task. Gotta go this way. What the heck? Are you serious, horse? Oh my god, this is this is such a clumsy control thing. Alright, what's next? Here we go. Hubert the rooster was easy to find, but there are no other animals to be seen. Bibi has an idea. She bewitches rooster Hubert so that he leads her and Tina to the next animal. Follow the rooster from one checkpoint to the next. It will lead you step by step to a destination. Okay. Three minutes? What the heck is this? Okay, well... At least the arrow is... fairly generous. I mean, it's always pointing us to that specific location that we need to go to. Where did that rooster go? Oh, there you are. I was like, where did you go? Uh... Here you are. I'm coming, I'm coming. Don't you worry. You, you just keep flying. I'll follow you. I don't even need to follow you, technically. I'm just following the arrow. For the most part, at least. that way. Hello again, rooster. We've met up for the fifth time now. Or so. Alright, you're here somewhere. I don't know where. Oh, there you are. Damn it. Thought you were gonna jump it if I was riding fast enough, but I guess it's a little too tall for this horse. I mean, that kind of makes sense. We did it. In a minute and 34, they gave us a lot of time for that one. Okay, next riding task. What's next? That way? Really far? Uh, we have to get out of here first. How do you... Alright, somewhere this way. This is 
is the first time when the mission is actually really far away. Wow. Is it that thing? It's like way over there. Wow. We made it. Don't tell me I just crashed on the tree. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. That is what you call bad game design. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, yeah, we'll just put some invisible walls right here in between two trees. <laughs> okay. Good job, game. Alright, let's go in here. Roger is helping in the surgeon has ridden to the quarry. Bibi and Tina look in the, in the gravel, pit, gravel pit. My bad. They then meet up later at Martin's farm. A writing competition against another rider. Ride from one checkpoint to the next without missing one out. Okay. Sure. We just gotta follow all of these. We're doing it. We're doing it. Is that the last one over there? No, there's way more over there. We do have the window, I'm pretty sure. I think it's close, but I can't look behind me. Running out of stamina. Hurry up. I have to do that because I was not gonna be and I was not in a good position by that point. My horse was slowing down after like every every two seconds I went, I went without pressing the button, my horse started to slow down. Oh my gosh, how long is this damn thing? Now we're going down a freaking valley thing down here? Oh my gosh. Hurry up. Go. I still don't see it. The, the final one. I don't know where it is. I'm assuming we were like really close though. There it is, I see. Yeah, so far this has been the longest uh, mission out of like, what, have we, we done like seven or eight or something? Something like that. You won. I don't know where that person was, like how far away you were, but yeah. Glad I beat you by, by a long amount. Okay, where's the next thing? Are you serious? Are you... Are you kidding me? So I clearly have to get out of here. But the big problem is that... Uh, I don't really know... Oh, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go back the way I came from. Seriously. All right. Well, if that's what the game wants me to do, then I'll do that. Actually, wait. What about this pathway? I think it just leads back to the same thing. What the heck is this? Move. Um. So that's way up there. So we clearly have to. Yep. Yeah, there's only one way to do this. We have to literally just ride all the way around from where we came in from. Which is a little ridiculous. Go. The terrain is also very awkward here. It's causing the horse to slow down like at almost every single part, unfortunately. Also, the graphics of this game really remind me of Return to Popola Croix. I don't know if any of you have played that. I mean, for all of you Harvest Moon slash Story of Season enthusiasts, you probably have, or at least you know about it and how it looks, but 
It reminds me of that. Like the animation of the characters and stuff. Alright, so I'm gonna let that go all the way back up. So... It's pointing this way. Wait a minute, I thought it was the other way. No? Oh shoot, I think I'm going crazy then. Right, where is it? These missions are so far now from each other. What did I just touch? I touched something. Something that the horse didn't like. Maybe it was too steep for the horse. Yeah, I've noticed that happens a lot. I don't know why. It's been happening a lot, usually on hills. Like, it's like, I don't know if that was intentional or if the game just wasn't programmed right, or like developed right, where like, it's like an awkward angle for the horse, you know? And I don't know. Because that can happen sometimes in these types of games. Where am I going? Why is this so far? Is it going to be right after this hill? It better be. The answer is no. What the heck? It's all the way over there. Oh my gosh, that was so far. We're almost there. Okay, now I have to enter the house too. Hopefully there's an entrance on this side. I can't really tell. There is. Okay. 